transfer season again. It's all about transfers. It's, we're coming towards the end of the season and uh, there's certain positions in Arsenal that I've been looking at to see where we need to strengthen. And one of them is the goalkeeper. Now, listen, me personally, I'll say this first of all, I'm happy with Ospina. I think he's come in for his first season. He's done really, really well. He hasn't let us down. Um, we're yet to see the very best of him, but he hasn't let us down. So Ospina, I'm happy with. Chesney, on the other hand, has let us down this season. He's had a very poor season. He's been left out of the team. And for a keeper like Chesney with quite a big ego and that, it could be that either he gets moved on by the club or he may decide that I don't want to play second fiddle. I want to move. So I think that Arsenal need to go out there this summer and get themselves a top class goalkeeper. A top class goalkeeper who can come in alongside Ospina, push Ospina all the way, that there'll be competition. I mean, let's remember a goalkeeper is one of the most important positions in your team. You can score 10 goals, but if your goalkeeper lets in 11, you're still going to lose. You need a quality keeper. So let's take a look at five keepers out there that could come in and do an excellent job for Arsenal. At number five, Fraser Forster. He plays in goal for Southampton. Big, big lump, this guy. Really got a presence. You know, he, he's, he's a decent shot stopper. But where he's really strong is on crosses. He's commanding in the area. And that's something that he'd have over Ospina. He'd, he'd be a sort of different kind of keeper to Ospina. Has, though, been prone to a few little errors. I've noticed that in a few of the games that he's played this season, that he can be, be a little bit error prone. But Fraser Forster would be a lot of money, but would be a very, very good player to bring in at Arsenal. Target number four, this may be unlikely, but it's Hugo Lloris. Now, there's a rumoured buyout clause in his contract that, you know, you could get him away if you met that clause. Spurs, of course, wouldn't want to let Hugo Lloris go to Arsenal at all costs. For me, he's their best player. Forget Harry Kane, forget Ericsson. Hugo Lloris, much as it pains me to say, is a world-class goalkeeper. He's a, I honestly think that when he became available and Spurs bought him, I think we made a massive error there. We should have went out there and we should have bought him in. Of course, we can offer him Champions League football. We can offer him 60,000 people every week. We can offer him a class club. But it's whether Tottenham would be willing to sell Lloris to Arsenal, which I very much doubt because they know he's their best player. But he would be a great addition if we were able to get hold of Hugo Lloris. Target number three, Azmir Begovic. Again, a very, very good keeper. Got loads and loads of Premier League experience. Again, he's got a lot of presence, good on crosses. He's had a little bit of a dodgy season, I think, for Stoke. I've seen a few games where he's made the errors. I mean, who can forget that horrendous error he made against um, Chelsea this season, where he just rolled the ball out to, to uh, Eden Hazard. But he is a top-class goalkeeper. And, you know, I think an improvement on Chesney and would be able to come in and do really, really well at Arsenal. And he's got that experience of playing in the Premier League. And no doubt he'd love to play in the Champions League. I mean, he's never played in anything like that, playing for Stoke. So, Azmir Begovic wouldn't be that expensive probably now either. Worth a throw of the dice. Next target is Ika Casillas. Now, we, what can I say about the guy? When it comes to experience, he's won the World Cup, he's won the Euros, he's won La Liga, he's won the Champions League. He's done a lot. He's won everything now. It's very likely that he's going to leave um, the Bernabeu this season and he's looking for pastures new. Arsene Wenger's, you know, there's strong rumours that Arsenal are interested in Casillas and Wenger might be looking at and seeing this is just the sort of experienced leader type guy that we need on the pitch. We lack leaders in that team, remember. This guy, he's done it all. There's nothing more he can do. He's a guy who could come in and he's still got it as a keeper. He's not as good as he used to be because he, he was the best keeper in the world. He has had games where he's made mistakes. We, we've seen that um, in recent times. Is he a fading force? Probably is a little bit of a fading force. But I think definitely if he came to Arsenal, it could be his sort of thing that could rejuvenate him and he could bring a bit of glory back to Arsenal. Ika Casillas will be available in the summer. Should Arsenal go out there and get him? Definitely an option. 
Number one target is a player who's definitely going to be available in the summer. Peter Cech, outstanding goalkeeper, plays at the moment for Chelsea. Even in the games where he's coming for Chelsea this season, it could be argued that he's actually played better than Courtois. He's a top keeper and a top keeper like him doesn't want to play second fiddle to Thibaut Courtois to anybody because in almost any other team in the world, he'll be starting. And he's still got it. He's 32 years of age, but he's still got it. And we know with keepers, 32 is like being, what, 26 as an outfield player. So he's still got it. Would Chelsea be willing to strengthen Arsenal? That is the question. They know that if they sell us Peter Cech, it's going to strengthen us. Mourinho's not going to want to strengthen us. And I think that is the real sort of sticking point. I think that Czech wouldn't mind coming to Arsenal. I think Wenger wouldn't mind having Peter Czech. But would Mourinho let Peter Czech come to Arsenal at any money? That is the question. That's what we're going to have to wait and see. But for me, he would be the perfect signing for Arsenal. So what do you guys think? There's five goalkeepers. There's plenty of other goalkeepers out there. Let us know who you think Arsenal should go out there and get. Or do we need to replace our keepers do we have the two quality keepers that can grow into that position and can be strong enough to help us to win a title leave your comments below don't forget to subscribe this is arsenal fan tv so i think we need a world-class striker and there's not a lot of world-class strikers out there but in this video i'm going to take a look at five players that i think could make a difference at arsenal 